All right, so the keynote has finished and this is uh, just kind of a video overlook on what was announced. So last year they announced Mac OS Sierra, so people were expecting something new, something bigger. Sorry that the video is lagging a little bit, had issues with the recording process. But they introduced Siri, they introduced Apple Pay, Unlock with your Apple Watch, um, iCloud, faster performance, and uh, picture in picture as well as uh, refined um, messaging and photos application. Now we know the, that they, when they name their applications, they're naming it after certain monuments or items in California. So this time around, the name itself is, it's a little different, it's a little weird, but it's High Sierra. So, there you go, Mac OS High Sierra. And he made kind of he made certain jokes about it and um, we all know how it sounds, but overall fairly relaxed with them, so um, seemed pretty cool with it. So they focused on new things within um, High Sierra, which is technology and more refined improvements. Uh, there we go, refinements. So they improved Safari. Uh, Safari itself was already fairly decent in um, Sierra itself, but they've included new speed improvements. And from what it looks like, we should get better um, encoding than some of the other browsers. Now, it's just a matter of time before they improve theirs and hopefully Chrome adjusts some of the things that even makes it run better on other platforms. Not use as much RAM, preferably. Now, Apple is calling this the world's fastest desktop browser. And again, at this point, I do not have the beta, so I I'm, can't wait to test the beta out and just see how it actually responds. But overall, they're saying it's going to be uh, much faster than Chrome. That's what they're comparing it with. Um, something that they, this is actually a nice feature. Um, you know, when you go to a specific website and audio starts playing back, they have auto play blocking. So that's beneficial, especially when you go to certain websites, all of a sudden you start hearing somebody talking in the background for no apparent reason and you're looking around trying to figure out where it's at. Auto playback blocking, that's a pretty nice feature. Something like introducing where the audio itself is coming from. Uh, the other part is something about privacy and protecting when you go to certain, how it tracks your data when you go to certain websites. Um, I like this and this is kind of where he shows the demo, the intelli intelligent tracking prevention where it should prevent uh, information being tracked when you go to a specific website and then you go to a different website, it should not be displaying the information from the website previously which is nice especially since Apple has a high focus on security these days and that's always a pain you hate when you go to a different website and you have information all over now the other thing that they improved is mail um, search top hits um, from what I've seen and talked to many users some people use the mail application some people don't it's a hit or miss um, I use it but I use it fast just to kind of look over my emails most of my emailing is done on the iOS devices uh, now this is also a benefit because I've seen where mail for some reason ends up saving a whole bunch of files so 35 percent less uh, capacity or space that it uses up it's also nice they also improved photos where um, editing has been improved on the photos application and how you just view and you can use keywords and have your favorites and you can just kind of see exactly what they're going through and I know the people that are doing the closed caption um, at some points they 
themselves mess up because you can see them deleting um, but you can see what they're talking about now they've also improved the editing within the photos application and how it um, crosses over to the other platforms for instance if you're editing something within the photos application you can carry it over to Photoshop and it all keeps the same data um, so as you can see right here the color range itself still stays the same so hopefully making editing easier for their pro users and just watching this they seem like they're focusing on pro users we'll get into that later now Apple you know when it comes to printing I haven't done any of the printing but I know that they used to do way more than uh, what they're offering now but they're teaming up with the third party um, for them to actually offer it so I'm wondering if Apple is if it's something new that they're going with as they are trying to be more environment, environmental friendly but somebody doing pictures and so on is nice um, now they are doing some other things for instance the file system is changing and they changed this on the iPhone and the or the iOS platform but now it's changing on Mac OS as well so they're going from HFS to the Apple file system so the Apple file system should improve the speed be between um, how the memory itself operates and we'll see a demo exactly what uh, when he is copying the files how it actually works so um, it's going to improve the responsiveness of the system hopefully causing less um, file issues so again I have to test it and see exactly but this is an example that he used where he's copying the files and this is on HFS and you can see it takes about nine minutes to copy all of those files now this is on the Apple file system and it's instantaneous so duplicating is much easier and very welcome now they're also improving the uh, video so the video codec on it what it supports and it's because um, videos are now going 4k higher resolution so they have to improve or support higher uh, codecs so they went up to the 265 h.265 or hevc so it should be up to 40 percent better compression again this is all something that they're talking about but we'll have to see exactly how it works and hardware acceleration I really want to see how it works on the newer MacBooks and I know it looks like they're really really working hard on the graphics and this is one of my favorite things that they talked about is GPU performance and many people thought that Apple is going to not support uh, external GPUs but from what it looks like they are definitely going to support it um, so now they're talking about metal and we know that's what they use for their uh, graphics uh, layer um, how it actually works with their whole system and game developers I haven't seen any negative things about it I haven't read too many things about it either but they're working on metal too So it should deliver more improvements and performance for IO, for Mac OS. And you can see right there, driver optimizations, up to 10 times um, better drop off throughput. So reference back to Metal when it first came out and how much better. So faster frame debugger, improved debugging, search, GPU, counters. 
and it looks like they're also going to implement Metal 2 with their other um, within macOS more for standard uses for instance like the as you see here Windows Server so when you're um, when you're launching the launchpad or any other things it should be using the metal frame framework so hopefully we'll see much smoother performance but right here is when they talk about the external GPU and there's a few things that they talk about external GPU and then the VR so many people were talking about Apple not supporting VR um, but this is the first step so I think right now we are in the age of of laptops we still use laptops and we like to carry them around the iPad at least now with what they did with what they announced today is good um, but overall we're still on the uh, using MacBook so when I get home I do want to connect something externally so I get more power so they're going to release the develop kit I wonder what the cost is going to be um, it's going to be using Thunderbolt 3 so we know that it's going to have a decent output because it can do a, about 40 gigabits per second um, it's going to use the uh, AMD graphics so we'll see exactly how well it works uh, it's going to be metal for VR so this is the Vive so it looks like they're going to be supporting the VR system it looks like they're going to be working with Steam and just when they were mentioning this you can tell a couple of things is that um, they're going to increase their GPU performance on um, on their other hardware because it has to keep up right now I don't think there's enough GPU performance and that's why you know, even on laptops you have to include an external GPU if you want to get the full benefit of uh, VR games and you can see that they already have some support the biggest one is going to be that Steam is coming to support the VR platform on Mac so that's kind of the thing that we have right there is the Apple file system metal tool and then we have a couple other things in here that you'll see um, it's going to be available today for developers so I'm going to have to get that on my device and just kind of go through and see exactly how it works for public beta it's going to be in June um, and you guys can test it out if you guys don't have the beta but stay tuned I'm going to have a little bit more inside detail to how I like it 